the huge infrastructural project is pushed and the rulers feel they can, they must push it at any cost and the people resist, you know what happens. It's not just the Piyush Manus, but also the Keralaite organizations who are facing more or less repression with or without dialogue. Now this infrastructure has become kind of a ghost. And on 25th and 26th of June, when in Mumbai there is going to be an Asia level conference, and the huge funding for infrastructure is coming from what is known as the newly formed bank, AIIB. No one can really realize because the non-transparent way that they move ahead with and the data to documents in spite of the Right to Information Act not coming to our doorstep easily. It's necessary that the hidden facts and the future impacts must be looked into before we say yes or no to any such expressway, highway or even a corridor, which is not like a veranda, but the, as huge as 300 kilometers in width and 1500 kilometers in length as is the case of one single industrial corridor, Delhi-Mumbai industrial corridor. Same is true about Mumbai-Chennai industrial corridor, which has already mapped or rather targeted the land of the magnitude 3 lakh to 4 lakh hectares. I know um, the Bel Murugan, who uh, was our... Uh, you know, frontline supporter every time when there was in Marakkam, right? When there was uh, the Dalit atrocities committed. Uh, Marakkam. We went and uh, Well Murugam was always with the unorganized sector workers, with Gitama and her colleagues, with us. And today he is facing National Security Act. What does it mean? That means that uh, if we have time, we wanted to go to jail, but uh, it cannot happen today. But I really express full solidarity with him because uh, he is being challenged by the state because he was challenging the state. There is no other reason. And the state is so insecure that they have to apply the National Security Act against everyone who questions them. And that unjust distribution which is the demand of those who can bully others who can grab maximum resources, who care only for profit and not people, as Noam Chomsky has called it, then they are the influential, not just partners, but pressurizers, and they compel our politicians or take them along, co-opting them to take that path. Now, country is facing such a huge water crisis and to change the paradigm overnight becomes almost impossible. But then we have to take courage and review, look back and look forward and start with a new development paradigm in not just water but land, water and also the green cover or forest management with participation of communities. This is how one comes to the right kind of option somewhere at some time but that is mostly too late.